Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that I'm doing a Destiny 2 giveaway with Cruiser and Mindshed. You guys can find the link to the giveaway in the description below. Super easy, super fun. You guys can win a free copy of Destiny 2 for the platform of your choice. Maybe PC where you can play 60 frames per second in 2017, 2018. Doesn't that sound like fun? And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace out. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow here, and in the background we have some Destiny 2 Strike gameplay that was provided to me by Blessius. You guys should go check out his channel if you have not already. The man is amazing at creating content on Destiny and soon to be Destiny 2 in the future. He is, um, you're missing out. You're missing out if you're not already up to date on Blessius's content. The man's amazing. So, PvE is... You know, 50%, honestly, if not more, of what Destiny is. Yes, you have PvP, you have PvE, split in half, 50-50, you know, one half. But PvE is so important overall to Destiny's success that I'm really excited for what I saw at the gameplay reveal and the event and everything. And watching these strikes, you know, from other YouTubers and streamers that they've uh, uploaded and everything, so... I'm really excited with the new content that's going to be coming. The new areas, the, you know, dark sectors, the treasure map stuff, the strike that we saw looks fantastic in my opinion. I love the color palette and everything. I know everybody's like, oh, it's No Man's Sky. Well, that's honestly probably what this planet looks like, TBH. I don't know. I've never been there, but I would like to think that not every planet looks like Earth. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've never been out of, you know, orbit here. But I'm excited. I think one of the one of my bigger concerns though is the streamlined subclasses and how the nodes you know, they're split into two different um what 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 is the uh like discipline i guess so like you have like one node it has four traits or abilities and then another node has four other traits and abilities and the only thing that seems like a problem there is like synergy you know between the perks you know you can't really maximize your pve effectiveness maybe you know, i haven't seen all the uh perk trees but you know instead of running you know celestial nighthawk with dead eye and um is that the over penetrate one? I think so. So like there was like a setup that you could do for a golden gun that would give you maximum damage output with like the Nighthawk in PvE. And it looks like you won't be able to, you know, mix and match. That's been confirmed. You can't mix and match perks um in different perk trees within the same subclass. So yeah, I don't know. That might mean that gear is more important. And honestly, that might mean that exotics are super important because they can provide you with something that you might not necessarily have in your perk trees and stuff and it just might you know you might get celestial nighthawk in destiny 2 but it comes with like over penetrate and all this other stuff you know, don't even need to pick you know that node that you normally would go with um and then you can pick a different node and you know get even more perks and stuff that just creates synergy that's what I'm hoping for. I don't really know. I don't, you know, I don't have any insider information. But that's one of the things I'm worried about is subclass synergy within PvE and even PvP, to be honest. But it, I'm excited. I think that PvE, you know, is Destiny's, what, what keeps people coming back is PvE content. And that goes for casuals and hardcore players, you know, between raids, strikes, you know, we had Challenge of the Elders, Prison of the Elders, all that stuff. It's a grind, and people like that. And they really improved as the years went on with PvE gameplay. With skeleton keys and, you know, things of that nature where you were able to get loot smarter. Smarter loot is a good thing. I don't necessarily like taking the grind out. Like, there has to be a grind to get keys and stuff like that. I want to look different, feel different, be you know glorified for my accomplishments in destiny and that's the hardcore player in me i really want stuff that sets me apart from the average joe not saying that he shouldn't be able to get it you know if something takes 10 hours to get and i grind day one 10 hours to get this thing because that's what i want that's what i want to do i want this pve cloak or something 
and Joe Schmo can go do it too, but if he only can play for an hour a day or 30 minutes a day, you know it's going to take him 10, 20 days to get the same thing. I think that that's important. I think that everybody should be able to get the same stuff. It just depends on your play time. That's kind of like with Three Coins Ruined, in my opinion. I don't really agree with what Three Coins was or is, and I hope that there's nothing like that in Destiny 2. Moving on, I think that there are four strikes on release. Don't quote me on that, but after seeing the size and complexity of the one strike that they uploaded, I have high hopes for the other three, if it is indeed just three other. I think that that is good to keep people coming back until the next expansion, or who knows what they might be doing. You know, they might have special, like, December, you know, you get a new strike or something. Who knows? But I'm super excited for that. I think the raid is going to be crazy. I, I just can't imagine, you know, giving Luke Smith uh, three years to come up with something to top Vault of Glass. I'm excited. I'm terrified at how difficult it might be, but so excited. I can't wait to watch Twitch, you know, and see everybody going through the raid blind. I can't wait to have that feeling again and just spawning into an area and exploring it for the first time and in destiny one something that happened to me was you know i really wanted to explore everything i wanted to treat the game like skyrim or something and like go into every nook and cranny and expect to find something and i didn't really have that you know i still explored and stuff and i remember like yo this is so cool it's so cool looking oh my god oh my god and not really coming across anything yes there were like golden chests and stuff but it was like for green gear it wasn't anything great and the way they talk about dark sectors and these treasure maps and, you know, really exploring areas that are huge, like the European Dead Zone, I'm so hyped and excited. I cannot explain that. I, I cannot wait to go and explore and just basically waste my time trying to find all these secrets and, you know, maybe there's some crazy stuff, you know, constantly updating Reddit to see if people have found anything and... I'm going to try my best to get content up on YouTube. Like, it's such an exciting feeling when a new game like this comes out. Rise of Iron and all the other expansions are cool, yes, but you're still playing, you know, basically the same game. The game that you know, you've explored. There are new areas and stuff, but it's basically the same game. You know the ins and outs. But with Destiny 2, I'm super excited for all the new, just brand new shiny stuff. I cannot wait I cannot wait. And also, like, the enemies and stuff is... I like how they've added on and, you know, almost perfected the enemies that we fought before. Everybody's upset because, oh, you're playing against the Fallen and the Cabal. Well, it's not like they're just gonna pick up and leave, you know, after Destiny 1. Like, All right, let's let these other guys come in and everything. Things like the Hive and stuff, I think, less so, but they should be, like, um... You know, discombobulated. They should be scared. And not really like a great force because we killed Crota and Oryx. They should be scattered and different sects and stuff of the hive should be fighting in different areas. And I know we've seen new fallen, a new fallen house. It's like purple. So, and the hive knights that have wings. And it's just, there's so much. The game looks fantastic. PvE looks fantastic. I'm so excited to see what they are going to come out with. I, I just, I'm excited. I, I'm honestly excited for this game. But that's going to do it for my thoughts on PvE, guys. If you have any opinions of your own, let me know in the comments below how you feel about PvE now and PvE coming up in Destiny 2. I'm excited. I'm concerned about a few things, but I'm sure the closer that E3 comes around and the beta, we'll be able to really get our hands into you know, a little bit of the meat that Destiny 2 will have on launch day. I'm excited. I can't wait. That's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.